Should you upload your online courses to Udemy or Skillshare as an instructor? My answer right now would be to upload to both if you can. There are some restrictions on uploading to both and I'll cover some of those restrictions with links to sources in the description such that you have a way to check out what I'm saying is still the case beyond the release of this video. There are also some fundamental differences between the two platforms which I'll also touch on. My reason for uploading to both platforms is that I personally won't lose out from Udemy but I can gain from Skillshare and that it's more of an audio though Skillshare has a smaller student pool than Udemy. Skillshare also offers another revenue stream as soon as I sign up through the use of referral links. Currently, you can share Skillshare links like mine in the description where you can try out Skillshare Premium for one month free, which then gives the referrer, so me in this case, $10 if you sign up. What's interesting is that this could easily try my earnings from my premium minutes and even my Udemy courses too. If I were to get 15 or 20 referrals every month, it would be my best passive income earner all interesting stuff to try out. Udemy does offer an affiliate program, but there are some restrictions that would prevent small creators from accessing that for now, something that I intend to try out when eligible. So the first thing we should address is exclusivity. Udemy has their normal private use sales, which is the organic, affiliates, ads, and your promotions traffic routes. But it also has another stream called Udemy for Business. Getting enrollments through the Udemy for Business program requires your courses to be in the Udemy for Business collections. You have to opt in to the the Udemy for Business program, where Udemy will then decide to include you or not. If you have opted into the Udemy for Business collection, Udemy requests that your courses are not hosted on any other platforms. So if you want to upload to Skillshare as well as Udemy, you need to opt out of the Udemy for Business program. I've not been included in the Udemy for Business collection, and so it was an easy enough decision for me to opt out. I strongly recommend contacting Udemy to see whether your courses were included in the collections, as removing them from the collections is not as quick as unticking this box. It takes some time for them to be removed, and hence it can take some time before you're free to upload to Skillshare. Skillshare is quite clear and open in saying that you retain ownership of your course, and you are free to host them on other platforms, so that's both sides sorted. The next thing to bear in mind is the differences between the two platforms and how you can tailor a course such that you can use it for both. As a quick summary, Udemy sells lifetime access licenses to your courses. Skillshare works on a subscription-based model. See the description for that free month or Skillshare premium. Udemy has a wider scope of topics that they allow. Skillshare prohibits more, which include things like passive income, reselling, engineering, and several others. It seems that Skillshare is more of a platform for teaching creatives. It also means that I cannot post my mechanical engineering videos on Skillshare, which is a bit of a shame. Self-promotion is limited in Skillshare to just the first and last videos. This can include logos or watermarks and introduction clips like this. I had to remove the intros for my videos on my Skillshare class which was a bit frustrating. It appears that Udemy doesn't mind self-promotion throughout the course as long as it isn't spammy. Despite this I may decide to not include my intros on future courses so that I don't have to create two variants. Skillshare typically does not have long classes, the average being about 20 to 60 minutes. Udemy typically, however, has longer courses which are hours long. Also, Skillshare has an upload frequency limit of one per week. So if I have a long course and decide to split it up on Skillshare into multiple classes, I would have to do this over several weeks. And I think it's okay to split up a long course into smaller classes on Skillshare as students will not be paying for each class as it is a subscription-based model. Splitting a long course into smaller courses on Udemy is different in my opinion. So there are things to consider before uploading all of your courses to Skillshare if you are only currently on Udemy. Looking at my courses, only my eight hour on check course is eligible. I split this up into three classes on Skillshare. Note that Skillshare uses the word classes instead of course. You might want to refer to your content as a group of videos or video lectures instead of a class or course if you don't want to record two versions, if that's even something that matters to you. My Skillshare classes are live and in my end of year review, I'll hopefully be in a position to update you on my experience of the revenue potential and the comparison between Udemy and Skillshare for the same course. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next video.